Tailwind Toots! You've got this page with multiple section jumps and you've set up smooth scrolling on the HTML tag and so clicking on a section jump will give you a buttery smooth scroll right into position. Well, that's pretty nice. But now someone decides that the navigation up here should be fixed and always stick to the top of the viewport. So now when scrolling, the navigation will stay at the top. But if we click on section jumps, the headings are hidden behind the navigation. So our navigation has a height of 16. So what we can do is for all our section jumps, add scroll margin top of that level 16. And this won't apply any margin to the element itself, but only apply the margin to the scrolling behavior. So if I go back on top and I click on section two, nice, section three and section four, and it all works again. Okay, but what if the navigation height changes? Let's say it goes to 32 for some reason. Well, now when I click on the section jumps, we are back to square one. Just for kicks, let's use a CSS variable here. In the CSS file, in the base layer, we'll define a root scope variable, navbar height, and use Tailwind's theme to reach for spacing.16. You could define this new height in the Tailwind config, but here let's consume the CSS variable directly with an arbitrary value var dash dash navbar height. We are back to the height 16, so everything is lining up. But now we can adjust our three scroll margin top declarations to also var dash dash navbar height. So if I scroll to the top and change the CSS variables value to 10, things are going to line up perfectly. I can change it to 48. This is going to look obnoxious. But if I jump to section three, it'll be perfectly lined up with where it needs to go. Let's try section four, section two, and go back to 16 and voila, it's all working pretty nicely.